Hi, Crafting Spirit Boosters. Welcome back to another episode. Hi, Crafting Spirit Boosters. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me once again. And today I am still continuing from the previous video sharing some of my craft items from past and present and right now i'm going to share you some things that is that are from the past if i can get them together oh bear with me bear with me let me get now some of these things they in a little bad condition because i didn't properly store them but well, here's another one of my little owls, as I showed you in a previous video. This one here has lost his eye. There's a little feet down here, but his one of his little eyes fell off. And I used some um, up here for the hair is some um, trim. Uh, this is some trim. This is not just yarn. This is some trim that I sewed in there. Then I use a football for the mouth buttons for the eye one fell off as i showed in the feet little ribbon this is fall decor and that one with this guy and there was one more of them that is in really bad shape that i can't share with you guys but yep this is a blast from the past of my previous fall creations that i used to decorate around the house when i was when i was um setting up for fall and stuff like that and here is another this donut has a magnet because i had put this on the refrigerator i guess i'll put them back on there this is another chocolate donut with buttercream frosting and orange sprinkles it looks so yummy I, mm, this is the only kind of donut it will not make me fat <laughs> yummy and also i have some more owls here i love to make it owls i still do this one here is um crochet and that's a little hanging string okay i made the eyes everything is crocheted the feet a little twisted but this is another creation from the past that i would hang around the home for decorations i would make a whole bunch of my own decorations because um that's what i liked it to do so this is another owl, and here is one more, one more owl. These little feet always would never straighten out here. Can never get this one's little claws right up the foot. Okay, here's another one. His wings actually move. How about that? I was on a roll. No pattern. I just said I want to make that, and I just made it. No pattern at all. I just did what I did. And that was all to it. To me, it's like, what's the big deal? You want to make that happen? Make it happen. <laughs> so this was another owl. I love this pattern of yarn. All the multi-fallish colors. I love this pattern. So pretty. And what else do I have? From the past, I made these cute little hats that I would put on um jars that i filled with had cookies and stuff in them these little hats like this this is what um is it um a little felt burlap rope and ribbon and the pattern is just something i just put together so that i did make a pattern because i made several hats like this so my pattern so that they could all come out the same way because when you don't make a pattern you know you get them all different shapes and sizes but I did make a circle, made a band, made the uh, area for the hood. Like I say, when I wanted to do it, I just put it together. No stress, no bother, not confidence for billion, a billion confidence in me. When I start making stuff, no fear. It just, when I get it to look like what I want it to look like, that's what I say is good. And one last thing I'm going to share with y'all for this video cut off. I was creating some pies. <laughs> and I decided to make something. I said, this is going to be the Pyrex 
you know, like that glass Pyrex. I said, let me use some white yarn for the Pyrex and bam, I put a pie in it. <laughs> the crust is dark brown burnt, you could say. Pie filling and then I got the nerves like, hey, this is the side of the crust that didn't get brown. <laughs> and then inside you can see the pie. It's about, I'm about to be interrupted, y'all, but I'm hurting to do this. But the pie itself, cut out a slice. That's what that is. I'm going to try to make it. Then you can see in the inside, I got the orange where the pie was actually cut. And you can see the bottom of the Pyrex pan. <laughs> yes, I went, did that. No pattern. I said, I want a pie like that. I'm going to try my look at it. And this is what I got. <laughs> I'm supposed to make this for my daughter one day. But it's kind of messy. I didn't never, you know, try to attempt to make it again, but I guess soon I'll do. But that's that pie filling inside, and the pie is cut, and you'll see the inside of the Pyrex pan. Yes, I did that. And that is all for today with the past crafts from the past. Thank you guys for watching, and it's going to be a continuation. I love y'all. See you in the next crafting video. Happy crafting. Bye. See you back soon.